My name's Captain Art Sapp of Native Sun Sport Fishing Charters. I'm a Shimano Pro, and we specialize in charter fishing with live baits under kites here in South Florida and tournament fishing. We fish right at 200 days a year, but it's exciting on every trip. I mean, you meet great people and you get to show them things that they wouldn't get to see otherwise. So one of the cool things about South Florida with this sailfish fishery is you can target sails year round and what makes it really special is as you progress through the year, you have different tactics as how you might target them. And you may see mahis, you may see blackfin tunas. Every species that swims in a tropical ocean swims within a few miles of the beach here. The Terez Blue Water BFC series of rods and reels is perfect for us. We like them to be light and easily manageable. And with our 360 degree fishability of our center console, they work out perfectly for us. The Terez Blue Water BFC series of rods are high power X spiral X construction. It makes them extremely strong and durable for us. The UD glass blank gives us the action we're looking for. And the Winthrop Epic butt is gorgeous, stylish, and gives it a custom rod look. The Fuji SIC guides are strong, smooth, and everything we need in our fishing rods and the Fuji reel seats on the spinning rods do exactly that as well. They're strong, durable, and comfortable in your hands. So to give a little more detail on the High Power X, it's carbon tape on the outermost layer wrapped tip to butt and back at opposing angles. This prevents blank twist. The next layer in the rod is the Spiral X layer. The first layer is wrapped diagonally. Second layer wrapped horizontally, and the third layer is wrapped diagonally again in the opposite direction of the first. Now the purpose of this layer is to keep the roll out of the rod. And finally, the UD glass blank gives us the power and durability that we're looking for in a fishing rod. Combined with High Power X and Spiral X, we fish these things 200 plus days a year in charter and tournament, same exact equipment, without any concern of failure year round. So if you look at the palm trees behind us, you can see the breeze is blowing pretty good here today, but the weatherman's calling for it to come down tomorrow, which will be ideal for what we're looking to do. Traditionally and typically we kite fish with our conventional Talica BFCs. That's a year round fishery for us. Now, during different times of the year, and this happens to be one of them, the fish will get into the ballyhoos and the flying fish and we'll be sight casting on them. For that, we'll use the Saragossa BFC. So we're gonna go ahead and start loading the boat with the different BFC rods and reels that we like to use and where in the boat that we like to station them and the reasons why we do it that way. So when we're kite fishing down here in South Florida, we fish three baits per kite. Short will always be closest to the gunnel, middle's obviously in the middle, and the long will be furthest. So as the kite's going out, we usually have about 150 feet between the kite and the first clip. And then we will clip in our long, send it 90 feet, clip in our middle, send it 90 feet, clip in our short, and the short's usually gonna fish 50 to 70 feet behind the boat, depending on the condition and how hard we're having to pull on it. You have three options in the conventional rod. We choose the seven foot option, but there is a six six option. It's a 12-20. Our shorts and middles are the seven foot 12-20 pound test. And in our long, we fish the 16-30 pound test. The reason we're doing that is we're really close on the short, and when you're loading on the fish, we like that softer action to give us a little more forgiveness so we're not just ripping that circle hook out of the fish's mouth. And then we can get away with a stiffer, a little more backbone in the rod on the long because there's so much give with so much line out there. So in this fishery, it's primarily a live bait fishery and you can't count on going and catching bait every morning. So we put in a lot of time and effort in catching baits on our days off, putting them in pens, getting them seasoned up and ready to go fishing. So we're pretty specific on which bait we fish throughout the spread. The long bait's almost 200 feet out there, so we've got to add them a little bit of weight to keep them in the water, and we'll fish a bigger bait, like a blue runner or a goggle eye. Middle bait, we've got a lot of options there. We like to fish a slightly smaller bait, but it still might be a blue runner or a goggle eye. Sometimes, if they're really biting on the scale bait, we'll fish a herring or sardine. And the short bait, no weight, pilchard, herring, sardine, almost always. Our kite rod is a Therese Blue Water BFC kite rod. It's coupled with this Winthrop tip, and it's really important to us to have a smooth finished tip because we're fishing up to 30 plus knots of wind sometimes, and that Power Pro can't be rubbing on a rough surface or it will part off. Now, 
We always use an electric reel because it allows us to tend our baits as the reel is bringing our kite back to us. And that frequently gets you a bite because you're actually forcing movement to your bait, excess movement beyond its natural swimming. The reel's got all the speed and power you need when kite fishing here in South Florida. So that's how we set up our kite fishing setup on this boat. Our spinning rods generally live in the tower leg right here. It makes them very accessible for fast scenarios when we're casting on fish. Now you've got two options with the Torres Blue Water BFC series of rods. They make them in a seven and eight foot rod, both 12 to 20 pound test rods. Now we choose the eight foot rods for a couple of reasons. Primarily when we're fighting fish, we need to be able to get around the outboard motors in the center console or around the bow. We also like that eight foot rod for casting. It, we feel like it gives us a little more length in our cast, especially when the wind's blowing real hard. We need to be able to whip it into the wind to get to a fish that's up on top for a brief amount of time. We couple them with the Saragossa BFC spinning reel. The speed of this reel gives us everything we need when we're moving on a fish quickly in a tournament or even for that matter, charter scenario. Thanks for watching episode one of a three-part series on Shimano North America Fishing's YouTube channel. Now, episode two, we're actually gonna go offshore and put this equipment to use kite fishing and sight casting to sails right here in sunny South Florida.